In this video, we're going to look at the most important features of the modern responsive player in Articulate Storage 360, so that you know how you can use them so your e-learning can be viewed on different devices such as tablets and mobile phones. I'm Mark Spermon from Upward Online Learning and I teach instructional designers and e-learning developers how to create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And on this channel I share free Storyline tips so that you can easily create e-learning modules in Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Then don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. In May 2018, Articulate launched a new course player in Storyline 360. They named it the Modern, Modern Player. And this player has responsive features and was released to give users on different devices such as tablets and mobile phones the same user experience with your course. You see an image of the new player on the left and one of the old player on the right. Now, the new player has a much tighter design and is a much more of a whole. Uh, with the modern player, the user gets less distracted and the emphasis is fully on your content on all the slides. Now the player that was in previous versions of Articulate Storyline, such as Storyline 2 and 3, has a heavier design with bolder buttons and has a clear separation between the menu on the left and the course window on the right. So um, distractions are from your course. Now let's see what the most important features of the modern player in a storyline are. Now to do this, click on your home tab on the player icon and you will see now that the player properties window will open. On the player properties window you can choose which player you want to use for your e-learning project. Now, for projects that, that are created after May uh, 2018, the modern player is automatically set up by Storyline itself. Uh, for projects that you have created before this, you see that the classic player is used. Now, you can change uh, the players between classic and modern here in the player styles section. Now, and the big difference between the uh, classic player and the modern player is that the classic player is a fixed player and the modern player is a, a responsive player and it adapts uh, to the uh, screen where the user is watching your e-learning on. One thing that you should pay attention to when you're uh, choosing between the modern and the classic player is that with if you choose your modern player that you can only publish your module as HTML5 and no longer as Flash or Flash as a, a backfall. So if you have Flash elements in your course, then you have to choose the classic player because if you choose the modern player, your course will not uh, work uh, perfectly. In all the versions of Articulate Storyline, when you want to get rid of all your uh, menus and controls, you had to have um, to do a lot of things uh, to get rid of them. Now, in the new player, there's a, a great feature that you can um, set all your menus and control on or off with one mouse click. So if you see I switched it to off, my player will reload and all menus and uh, controls are now uh, disappeared. Now when I click on again, uh, my player preview will reload and you see that uh, my controls are there again. And this is useful for example when you do not use the navigation elements in the player itself but if you have navigation buttons that you've created on each slide for yourself. So uh, then you can um, with one mouse click get rid of all the uh, navigation controls of Articulate Storyline. The second important feature of the modern player can be found under color and effects, where with the uh, classic Storyline player in Storyline uh, 2 and 1 you could uh, determine yourself what colors you gave uh, your player. Now, the modern player has only two teams, a dark team that you can see here and a light team, and you can set an accent color. Now, I've uh, chosen orange here, you see the text is here orange and here's an orange line now, and I will show you my light team. You see this is the light team 
with here also uh, the orange text and the orange line. Now, in the modern player, you can still choose with uh, which fonts you want to give the text more elements of your player. Uh, and furthermore, you can choose the navigational elements of the player here. The previous and next button uh, uh, should only consist of an icon. You can choose for only text. You see here, previous and next, or a text and an icon. Now, the options under features are uh, the most the same options are you had with uh, the classic player in Storyline. With an addition that you now can choose to have your e-learning module with the menu on the left collapsed. So if you check this item, you see my uh, our player uh, preview has the menu uh, collapsed and you can uh, uncollapse it by clicking the hamburger icon on the top left. And the last important feature of the modern player is that it scales um, automatically so that the browser of a student on every device is completely filled with your course. So you see here, this is the uh, so this, uh, these are the dimensions of my course and if I'll make my screen a little bit smaller you'll see that the course automatically will adjust it. So uh, on this way the browser window uh, of a student is uh, filled completely on every device so all the attention of the student goes to your e-learning course. Now those were the most important feature of the modern player in Articulate Storyline. So with this video, I hope that you can use the modern player for your next Articulate Storyline project. Did you like this video? Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week on creating e-learning with Articulate Storyline. Thanks for watching and until the next video.